Hi there everybody, just sitting here uh, making this video and there's just a few warnings. I, I just have to make four videos, I can't ha get it all in three. And if you're not into old uh, castles, ruins and, and monasteries for example, then uh, pick another one in the playlist. And she says there's of course some nature in it, yes, of course there's nature and small roads in our videos. But it turned out to be quite misty that day, so that's what it is. Good morning. We are parked here at Bursø. It's about uh, 8 in the morning and the sun hasn't come up yet. It's a bit misty today. It's a very dark place to park. There's no street light here. Only a little light from the houses. But we are not the only one here. Uh, there's a big community of cold water swimmers. We just stopped here to get diesel in a small town in North Zealand. And uh, then I saw this. Look at that. The local grocery store is closed uh, a few years back. Instead, this container with um, all you need is there. We don't actually need anything, but uh, we have to support something like this. So uh, I'll try to figure out how to get access to it, and then let's see what's in there. Now we are at Arsø. You can't see the lake today because it's so misty today. This is the ruins of Dronning Holm Castle. Maybe it's interest. Back in time around year 1000. And it's a long way back. The only thing here was uh, a tower called uh, Martin Bailey. Martin Bailey, yeah. Like it's uh, known in England also as a defense tower. But this is a natural site, uh, and the water used to go all the way up to. There's a ditch all the way around with water in it. There's a big, uh, there's a big uh, building here, and uh, and over on the other side, this is the north part of the castle where Med is uh, walking around. That's where all the kitchens and uh, stables and all the servants were living. So if you use your imagination, try to think of all the life here and how it was built. I actually can't find any uh, pictures of it uh, or paintings from, from that time. It's only been uh, conquered once time when the king gave it to someone else. And down here is uh, the place where where the winding bridge uh, were across the across the water. The only opening to the castle, and it was quite deeper at that time, of course. The weather is not perfect, but um, if you love history, if you watched a lot of medieval films or uh, read uh, some books about it, or perhaps uh, played with some Lego then you and then you can use your imagine to uh, imagination to uh, just imagine how life was at that time I find it very fascinating so um, they try to put beavers out here so to uh, raise the water level so the water is uh, is rising 
our little camper van is down there. Actually, there's a very nice uh, big parking spot up there, but uh, there's a lot of um, mud right now, so we didn't fancy walking all the way through that. So we parked uh, just right down here instead. So all, almost all the way around, you see the water is always already coming back by itself. And we found a foundation for the tower, excavated about uh, 1940 or so. So um, imagine this big tower standing there for fortification. Later on, we'll find more of these. Hello, and welcome. <laughs> we're at Outerroll Forest and Harbor, and uh, we're going geocaching. And uh, Animeta. Animeta has to get dressed with a very big boots on her. <laughs> So, are you ready to get in the swamp? Let's see how swampy it gets. It say, the sign says uh, the track is, uh, is uh, filled with water, but um, right now we are doing geocaching, trying to find the little treasures hidden in nature. The lake is out there, but it's still a misty day. Doesn't seem to clear. Is there? And Meta is looking uh, by the root of the trees. Well, that can be anywhere here. <laughs> Very misty, but there's a lot of ice uh, on the lake. There was actually a lookout point, but uh, I don't think we can see very much. So it doesn't matter that we forgot our binocular binoculars. Let's go up and uh, enjoy the so-called view uh, today. I'm telling Animated that you can see about uh, 30 meters up there. But well, it's uh, some nice seats here. So, here's the view over Arsuit, Denmark's biggest lake. The only view you can get here is the best one. That's me. Today is uh, is a southern southern wind, so it's uh, quite calm here in the north coast. It's uh, very unusual. So um, I just wanted to um, to get a feeling for the water. Should I go swimming? Nah, <laughs> it won't happen. But uh, let's see how cold it is. Whoa! That's um, that's what you call fresh, really, really fresh. I'll better get up to Animeta again and get the get the diesel heater started, get a lot, of, get a new coffee put on. Thanks for watching guys, uh, next video we are going to Esebo, to Sybor and to Esro Monastery where we are going to get some um, interactive experience. Then we are going to look for a harbor so we can get a bath, we are going to birthday tomorrow. Give us a like, share the video, leave us a comment, that would be just lovely. See you out there, bye bye.